Hi, this is Carol Lundin from Garden 911. Well, it's December 10th and we had some snow yesterday and garden season's wrapping up, but I'm trying to catch up with my own yard. And I've had these poor inkberries, Ilex glabra, in this sad little plastic shopping bag uh, for a couple of months, but I've been kept keeping them watered. And today I'm finally gonna get them in the ground. Digging is still pretty easy because the ground's not frozen. So I've dug little, already dug a little hole, softened it up. I added a little compost. So I'm now going to take these individual ilex. They're in the uh, holly family. And I'm just going to set them in at the same root depth that they had been when I, when I plucked them out. The reason that I removed them is that this is a suckering shrub. It's kind of colonizing. So uh, to keep the, the landscape tidy, I like to remove these from time to time. And I have a hard time throwing plants away and I have a spot in my yard. So here we go. I'm gonna just tuck them in a little and backfill. Again, getting the soil about the same height as it would have been if they had been naturally growing. You can see, the, see that under sn the snow, I had dug up a little patch of my own turf. And we're gonna just use that to put a little ring around my planting hole. So I'm gonna tuck the soil in around the roots because we don't, um, we don't want any uh, gaps between the soil and the roots. We wanna keep that a constant. That way the, the plants will stay upright and they can get the, the water and nutrients that they need. So that's about it for poking them in. We do not ever want to step on plants after we've, we've put, tucked them in the ground because that compacts the soil and prevents oxygen and water from getting to the roots. So a little tuck. Now we have our nice little mini colony of Ilex glabra, inkberry. I'm gonna water them next. I don't have to show you that. Um, and also, after I'm done watering, I'm going to put some, um, I've chopped up some leaves in my lawnmower. And I'm going to put probably two inches of chopped up leaves as a mulch for the winter. That's it for today. Oh, and in the foreground there, we have some, another Ilex. That's the Ilex fertisolato, which is the winter berry. So it's lovely. Thanks for watching.